singer Sonu Nigam sparked a controversy today morning after he went on a Twitter rant against Morning Azan from mosques. In fact, Sonu went on to term it as forced religiousness. In no time, the singer started facing severe backlash for his comments. Many users criticized him for raking up a religious issue. Talk about any particular religion. I think that there is a very clear, uh, very clear uh, directive by the Supreme Court in terms of uh, sound pollution. And I think uh, every every religion, uh, whether it is Christianity, uh, mandir, playing uh, bhajans, uh, whether it is masjid, the synagogue, whatever it is, it exists for even common people in terms of uh, playing loudspeakers or uh, you know in our home discourse, so in our home parties. So it it, it, uh, it applies for everyone, and every every uh, one should uh, should obey that. So I, I don't want to make any particular comment. He has uh, made a Twitter comment. It's his uh, personal space. Uh, but yes, in terms of uh, sound pollution, there is a directive, and it should be followed by everyone. And one has to see if there is any kind of breach made by any uh, mandir, masjid, uh, uh, the girja, anything like that. I'm really surprised and rather I'm shocked. He's a great singer, undoubtedly, and he has tremendous following globally. Even there are millions of Muslims who are, are great fans of Sunu Nigam. But the kind of words which he has used, like Chonshte Badi or Gunda Gardi, these are, words are totally uncalled for. We have the right to protest. You have, the, you have the right to speak your mind. But the kind of language which he has used is really, it's, it's really very depressing. And I would like to say that it's a democratic country. We have to live with each other, with the uh, citizen of, uh, citizens of dif different castes and creeds and religions.